guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna talk about scents, perfumes. Nice. Just for everybody's information, I don't really consider myself as a perfume collector, but I consider myself as a perfume lover. I think there's a very thin line between a perfume collector and a perfume lover. I don't know if I make sense, but it's like, like for me, I love collecting the perfumes that I love. I don't just like, collect them or buy them just for the sake of buying them i i really buy them because i i love because i love the scent i don't know if that makes sense but yes that's what i meant let's start off first with um let's start off first with edp so like eau de parfum or eau de parfum how you gonna adjust parfum parfum first is this classic chloe eau de parfum or eau de parfum EDP. Um, as you can see, medyo full pa siya because actually this is a recent like, like newly opened box because I just finished a bottle of this. So this is a newly opened bottle. Oh, and even from here, like I can smell it. Naged. So anyway, I've been using this perfume for like five years and since then, um, this has become my signature scent. Naged. I really like the smell because it's very floral. Like this scent is really a definition of a, of a woman. Yeah, and also I've seen um, Michelle D's, uh, Michelle D's perfume collection and she also has this one. Actually, a lot of celebrities um, have this one or wear this one, use this one. And it's not really a surprise because this really smells so good. I swear to God, it smells so good. So in her video, she described this one. This is not really the exact words, but it's something like a Seychelles girl having lunch or having coffee, pero tahimik lang. Yun yung description niya. Pagalog. I agree with her because this really smells fancy and people will really notice you. People will compliment you and would say you smell so good or, or even ask you what are you wearing what perfume are you wearing because this one really smells so good and you can even wear this like every day but i reach out for this one good like most of the time i wear this perfume um every time i go out with my family and with my closest friends because with my close friends because i want this scent i because i want them to remember me smelling like this and i think it's very effective because my friends would really say liz gayo bajo the smell is so liz like imprint sa ilahang mind na kani siya nga smell like very me i like to be remembered smelling like chloe moving on let me just put this back next is this chanel chance utandre utandre um please just google and uh this is also edp or audi parfum or audi parfum this is actually one of my first uh, chanel bottles backstory long because when i was in my 20s i really find chanel perfume too mature or like too old for me and maybe now uh, i'm in my 30s so no, maybe nag adjust na kong nose or maybe I'm just getting older so that's why ako ang preference sa perfume medyo ni mature na sa I don't know but actually Chanel is I think for everybody good especially this one no this perfume is fruity and floral at the same time it's very sweet and very floral but this one lang is how do I describe this it's strong but subtle and light I don't know because I've watched some reviews about this uh, perfume and some didn't like it some like it but some didn't like it i understand that some people don't like it because the projection is not really that good the opening is very fruity and floral but when it dries down it becomes your it becomes skin scent or it's like newly washed linen in anashaka light and in anashaka you know subtle and fresh for this one i described this as a like a like a fancy girl, a social girl, a social girl, like in her own bubble that doesn't need compliment or that doesn't want to hear any compliment. Like she's okay. She's okay if if people will not compliment her, she's fine with it. If people will um will find her not fancy, even though she knows that she is fancy, it's okay. Marcia Kevs, mona homa describe na character any niyang perfume. So I usually reach out for this or wear this one in the church 
or every time my daughter and I will go out, you know, date or like somewhere, just the two of us or date nights and date days with my hubby because he likes the scent, he likes the smell and and I don't mind if like people will not notice the smell. Um, within four hours, um, you know, you could really, you can smell yourself but I doubt if people can smell you. Not unless again, they would go near to you and then, oh, you smell so good. So yes, this is Chanel Chan's Utandre. Moving on to the next scent. This one is the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. So this one is the complete opposite of the Chanel Chan's. Like, oh my god, like even from here, you could really smell it. This one, girl, this one, this is like a head turner. Like if you wear this, people will notice you. People will turn their heads. I would ask you, what are you wearing? What perfume is that? In ani ni shaka, you know, cause strong. Not really like strong. I don't find this one strong. But the projection of Coco Mademoiselle is so, so good. Like this lasted me for like 10 hours or like even like the whole day good. Even if you wear this in the morning and then you might worry or you might think that you would not, you know, smell good in the afternoon or, or probably in the evening. Girl, you would still smell so good, I swear. And I would describe this one as a, you know, fancy, rich girl. Uh, like a young CEO. I ang ma describe Aninia because it's citrusy. It's citrusy. It's not sweet. It's citrusy, like the opening. Like when you spray it, you could really, you know, smell the zingy, the zinginess. I don't know if there's such a thing as zinginess, but you know, the zing, the zingy, and this, it's, I swear, it's very, it's citrusy. And when I asked my daughter, Ali, what does it smell like? Can you smell mommy? The opening, she just said like, mommy, you smell like orange. She just said that. I smell like orange. And she likes it and she's just five years old and she likes Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. Where was I? Yeah, I described this one as a young CEO or like a young CEO mom. It's like, um, you know, um, letting her kids, letting her kids shop and like, mommy, I want this, I want this, I want that, I want this and that. And she would just say, okay, kids, put them all in the basket and mommy would pay for it. Girl, you know, of course, it's just me, you know, describing the scent. And we're not sure in a character. Yeah. Girl, people would really notice you. I swear. And if you search it online, like, what are the best fragrances for women? This would really come up. Chanel Coco Mendes. Moving on. Next is this Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. EDT or Audi Toilet or Audi Toilet. So I reach out for this bottle every time I go out for like, you know, grocery, as if my grocery gonna for like, um, yeah, grocery or when I'm out doing errands and whatnot or like going to our store. In Monisha, this is the, this is the perfume that I most likely reach out for. It's because it's very light. It makes you, the scent makes you happy. And masipon na kagidlay na. Like, I'm so busy, but at least I smell good. Mona siya ako ang describe aning Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue. Actually, this has a similar scent, which I also have. It's Moschino or Moschino I Love Love, but I already throw the bottle away. After I consume this, maybe I'll buy that one or maybe I'll just repurchase this. Next is this Salvatore Ferragamo. Um, this is also my errand perfume or like, you know, going to the grocery or running errands or like, you know, driving your kid to school and then picking them up. There are days and times when I want to smell, um, you know, floral, but at the same time, very light. Lang. So I use this and it's almost finished now. And as you can see, it's almost finished. Yes, Salvatore Ferragamo. And last, but not the least, Elizabeth Barden Green Tea Scent Spray. So for this one, I, as you can see, it's already half full, half empty, half full. Um, because I, I wear this one or I spray this one um, before I sleep. I don't know. I just find it very, you know, I want to smell good even though I'm, even though I'm about to sleep now. And I just like it. It's very fresh and very, you know, very light. Yeah, the scent just makes me happy. When I go to sleep and I smell good, I like it. 
and also i reached out for this if there are like you know some surprise visitors or like my friends would just come here like all of a sudden with axilla lizzie we're going there and all that and i reach out for this perfume and then spray it all over that's it i smell fresh and it just makes me happy this is very it, very um very light and i love it guys that's it those are the perfumes that i love and that i have at this moment and i'm gonna try joe malone one of these days and maybe there are just so many joe malones my god so i'm gonna smell this one by one and really find my you know and really um find the scent the perfect the perfect joe malone scent for me and yes I, oh yeah and also today my friend one of my today schoolmates um to also told me that try set out her mask um, perfume but i've tried the colognes not really like try that i bought try but um, i have a tester like a tiny tester lah. and i like it it's just you know light um not really fan of the cologne i'm not sure with the Audi parfum because i haven't tried it once anyway that's it guys those are my perfumes so let me know in the comment section below what you think of this video and i'll see you on my next one